I used to wonder what friendship could be until all these episodes shared their magic with me. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 My Little Pony Friendship is Magic episodes. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're looking at My Little Pony episodes that were universally praised for their entertaining stories and meaningful lessons that anyone at any age can take to heart. If you see an episode you didn't like or your favorite episode was skipped over, no need to make a fuss, everyone has a different taste. I guess we don't have to agree on everything to get along. Also, if you haven't been keeping up, there will be spoilers. No, no, darling! Please, no spoilers! Number 10. Slice of Life I really messed up on those invitations. I feel just awful, Doc. To celebrate 100 episodes, Friendship is Magic actually did something new, yet refreshing. They marked the milestone by shifting focus away from the major characters. While our heroes do battle with a monster, again, the townsfolk are preparing for the wedding of Cranky Doodle and Matilda, who we met in season two. <gasps> the invitations are wrong! This says the wedding is today! Along with hilarious in-jokes for the fandom, we also learn about the lives of several notable background characters, as well as a few double lives. My name isn't Bon Bon, it's Special Agent Sweetie Drops. In the end, a beautiful wedding ceremony reminds us that while Twilight Sparkle and her friends are the show's protagonists, every character, no matter how big their part, has a story to be told. And no one is less important in life's great narrative. I now pronounce you Jack and Jenny. <laughs> Number 9. Too Many Pinkie Pies Pinkie Pie loves having fun with her friends, but she can't join everyone at once, unless there were more of her. With the help of a magical pond, Pinkie clones herself so that she can be a part of it all. Unfortunately, the fun is over when a tidal wave of duplicates overruns the town, and no pony can tell which is the real Pinkie. In fact, not even Pinkie can. But I am the real Pinkie! No, you're not! I'm the real Pinkie! To prove she's the real deal, Pinkie will have to do the unthinkable. Watch paint dry. Fortunately, the real Pinkie shines through, and she learns that sometimes you will have to miss out on some fun. But opportunity always knocks, and it's less chaotic than cloning yourself. I couldn't leave my friends. I just couldn't. But I guess sometimes I will have to choose between them. Number 8. The Perfect Pair You must be new. I'm Abel Bloom. I'm Grand Pair. Grand Pair, an old rival of Granny Smith's voiced by William Shatner, has returned to Ponyville, and the Apple siblings make a shocking discovery. He's actually their maternal grandfather, meaning their mother, voiced by Felicia Day, was a pear. Are you saying our mother was a pear? Afterwards, the trio searches all over town for stories about their parents, and what they find is a ponyfied Romeo and Juliet story. While their families hated each other, the two couldn't help but fall in love and join together, no matter the bittersweet consequences. Are you chosen to be an apple over being a pear? Are you making me choose? Yes, I am. Talking about loved ones after they've gone is difficult, but hearing their stories can uncover a whole new side of your family and even settle the bitterest of rivalries. I can't believe I let a silly feud keep me from my family. Number 7. Sonic Rain Boom Way to go! Here we go! Phase 3. The Sonic Rain Boom! As a filly, Rainbow Dash pulled off the Sonic Rain Boom that earned her and her friends their cutie marks. She hopes to achieve it again in the Best Young Flyers competition and impress her heroes, the Wonderbolts. However, a nasty case of stage fright hinders her chances. Those guys are right. I'll never be able to do it. The others go for support and show us more about Pegasi culture, but Rarity's too busy loving the attention her new wings give her. Her evaporating wings bring her back to reality, but luckily, Dash swoops in to rescue her, pulling off the sonic rain boom. While Dash is up on cloud nine, Rarity learns that supporting your friends is far better than soaking up the limelight. And I'm especially sorry that I was so thoughtless as to jump into the contest at the last minute after you had worked so hard to win it. Number 6. Pinky Pride Today I planned a party and it's just for you. 
Pinkie Pie is going all out to prepare for Rainbow Dash's birthday slash anniversary party, but her plans are interrupted by the arrival of fellow party planner Cheese Sandwich, voiced by Weird Al Yankovic. Super duper party pony, that pony is me. I always knew that was the kind of pony I would be. He inadvertently steals Pinkie's thunder as party headliner, but she is not giving up the title without a fight, in the form of a goof-off musical number. I challenge you. <gasps> Unfortunately, Pinky realizes too late that she let her pride keep Dash from enjoying her special day. However, this town is big enough for two party ponies, especially since it was Pinky who inspired Cheese to become a super duper party pony. So the two collaborate to throw Rainbow Dash the most epic birthiversary party ever thrown. All right, every pony, we are here to celebrate the birthday. <laughs> Number 5. Crusaders of the Lost Mark Are you kidding me, Crusaders? We can do better than that! Since the Cutie Mark Crusaders formation in Season 1, the bratty Diamond Tiara has been a pain in their blank flanks. However, after costing her a school election, the trio learns the source of her high and mighty attitude, her overbearing mother, and that she wishes she could be something more. Diamond Tiara? Why are you making that face? That is not the face of a winner! Fortunately, our Markless fillies show her a better way than following in her mom's hoofsteps, and actually turn their oldest enemy into their newest friend. We want to invite you to our clubhouse to hang out. Really? After realizing how much better it is helping ponies with identity crises, the Crusaders finally earn the ultimate reward of their cutie marks. Once they finish their five-year mark hunt, it's time for a new chapter, helping other ponies with cutie mark troubles. Number 4. Magical Mystery Cure Morning in Ponyville Shimmers Morning in Ponyville Shimmers, but everything is certainly not fine, as Twilight's friends have mysteriously switched cutie marks and destinies. It turns out an unfinished spell Twilight Red caused this, but she fixes the mess by reminding them of how much they all mean to each other. True, true friend helps a friend in need, a friend will be there to help them see. But the biggest surprise of all? This was all a test concocted by Princess Celestia to unlock Twilight's new destiny, becoming an Alicorn Princess. I didn't even know that was possible! Alicorn Party! Everything she's ever learned about friendship has led to this event, graduating from Celestia's prized student to her equal. Of course, no big change comes without controversy, but rest assured, Twilight herself says everything will be fine. Number 3. A Canterlot Wedding Dear Twilight, I am sure you are as excited as I am about the upcoming wedding in Canterlot. The main six are helping to prepare the wedding between Twilight's big brother and her old full sitter Princess Cadence. However, Cadence's bridezilla attitude isn't sitting right with Twilight. Or maybe she's just being overprotective. I'm sorry. You will be. It turns out it's the former when Twilight finds the real Cadence underground. And the imposter is actually Chrysalis, the Changeling Queen, feeding off equestrian love to prepare for her army's invasion. <laughs> right, you are, Princess. While obviously inspired by the real life 2011 royal wedding, this two parter offers more depth to the show, with the Changelings representing a major threat and Twilight's realistic fear of drifting apart from her brother. In the end, her instincts save the wedding as does her bond with her brother and new sister-in-law. <laughs> Number 2. The Return of Harmony <laughs> Discord, the spirit of chaos voiced by John Delancey, has returned from his stone prison. He steals the elements of Harmony and tricks the main six into playing his little find-it game, where he brainwashes five of them into the opposite of their element, some harder than others. Oh, for goodness sake! You've been kind for far too long, my dear. Time to be cruel! Even after they find the elements, Discord's influence is too strong, and their unbreakable bond seems broken. With friends like you, who needs... enemies? Friendship can be difficult, and fallouts are guaranteed to happen. 
but if you really love your companions, then you can't give up the ship. If Twilight had actually given up on her friends, they never would have reunited and sealed Discord away again. For the moment. Ooh, ooh. Well, it's about time some pony got me out of that prison. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are a few magical honorable mentions. I'm gonna interview you and your friends so I can paint a picture of how it all came together. A word picture, mind you, not an actual picture. Yes, Princess, I'm ready to use my magic for good instead of evil. Most of the time. Number one, Twilight's Kingdom. It doesn't seem that my new role as a princess equates to all that much. Uncertain of her role as a princess, Twilight hopes that the newfound mysterious chest can reveal her purpose. Unfortunately, there's no time to worry about that, as the monstrous T-Rex is loose and stealing equestrian magic, manipulating Discord with an offer he can't refuse. Join me, Discord, and reclaim your greatness. After a Dragon Ball Z-style duel with Twilight ends in an impasse, T-Rex has a different proposal. This is a testament to Twilight's loyalty to her friends, willingly sacrificing everything for them, even Discord, who now finally understands friendship's true value. When I say that it is a sign of our true friendship, I am telling the truth. Her sacrifice grants her not only the key to unlock the chest and defeat T-Rex, but also an enormous castle, where Twilight finally learns her royal role, spreading friendship across Equestria. Wow. Wow. You are now Twilight Sparkle, the princess of friendship. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.